Hi guys, Raichu Plays here. Today we're jumping straight back into the Barnyard Animal Pack at Capital View Farm. So since the last video I've just popped out a tiny tiny little update because what I've done is I've just made some amendments to the actual pig pen. So I got rid of the second pig arc and I popped the little forage pool in. I just covered that with some terrain and some rocks. And then I've also created this as well, which I have popped on to the workshop. So I'll pop that link down below as well. And then obviously just skipped over that, but I'll come back to that in a second. And then this is the new style pig pen that I've um, created. So this is also on the workshop and um, quite a few people have already downloaded this as well, which I'm quite surprised about. But the more exciting news is that we have had two brand new piglets. So we're going to need two names for those ones because we've got uh, Myla and Harry. So any name suggestions for them that'd be great. And then other than that pretty much just done some general kind of changes. Just added a change to this because it was like that metal fence before. Just popped the um, stone walls in here because this is going to be where the chickens are going. Um, finished off the maze as well off camera because it's a lot to place all these little bits in. So I will connect that up at a later date. And then I've just kind of created this here so I can kind of picture people kind of sitting on this and having a photo once they've done. So we left that as it was. Um, not really changed anything in here. Um, obviously added the new, what I've made here so it just gives the effect that it's like an old style kind of water trough. And then you've got the kind of like old fashioned pump. Um, it's a shame we don't have like a drip feature which would drop into here but that's fully functional which is pretty cool. Um, just added some grass here as well. And then what I also did was I made these really cool um, hand washing stations. So I can pop these on the workshop as well if you want. I um, just thought they were pretty cool. Um, oh, we've just had a baby goat. Good timing that was. Two baby goats. So we've had Fabian and Meal. Okay, so it's going to be another two names for the goats as well. So as always, pop them suggestions down below. Let's just see if we've got any other that I've broken in one second. And on so far, oh, this one. That's not due till next year, that's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna pause it there, because I don't want to miss the, the birth for that one. Um, so what I'm gonna do in this episode is, I'm just gonna build a little toilet block here, an information area. Um, what I have done as well is I've popped some of these little signs in. So we're going to obviously put some more of these around the park and stuff. And then what we're going to do is we're going to build the chickens so they're going to kind of be free roaming here. So because I'm in sandbox mode I've got escapes off. So I can literally put an all barrier over here and they won't come through. They'll just kind of stay in this area here. And then we're going to pop one highland cow in here. Just on his own. And then what I'm going to do around this area is a little alpaca walkthrough experience. So I'm not sure how I'm going to make that work but we're going to we're going to do it. So let's hop straight in to the toilet block. So I've already propped just like a little a little bit of something down. And then I'm just going to use the stained wood pieces just like I did on, well, just like the uh, creator of the barn did. But we're going to go for a different colour. Just something that kind of complements it because this has obviously been built since the, um, since the barn's been created. Let's just build that up. So I'm thinking that kind of colour just with the breeze block flora and um, kind of do it like that. And then what we'll do here because obviously if we rotate it around it's not going to stick on the grid. So if we just rotate it around again it'll be fine. And then I'm just going to duplicate these into position. like that. So because we are in pause mode I can have a little play around. So I'm thinking of having the toilets here because I'm going to kind of, what I am going to, it's fine I was going to move that tree out of the way because it's probably going to get in the way but let's just, um... we're going to pop that in the middle. I know it's going to look hard but just so we can, just so we can see what we're doing. Okay, so back into the grid. Okay, so staff facilities. I'm going to pop the blueprints off again. 
Sorry, guest facilities, I don't need the staff ones just yet. And then we're going to go down to toilets. So I'm thinking of just popping free in for the time being. Just kind of like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab. See what that looks like. Yeah, that looks quite nice. So let's just grab that. Just pop that to there like that. I think. Let's add five actually, just to make it more of like a central, centralized hub. Just want to get out to see guest needs and stuff. And then I can add an information booth here kind of thing and probably some gift, probably not a gift shop because I'm going to do that potentially here I think. I'm just going to build like a smaller version of this barn and just do a little gift shop inside. Um, so let's hop back into that grid. Let's just get the, the roof in. So I'm thinking of going potentially like that. And then just to stick with the theme of this where it's like sweep it up a bit. Um, I'm gonna switch to the steeple on. And what we'll use there is we'll just use one of the top roof pieces. Um, so I'm probably gonna use just try a couple of different ones. We'll use that one. That's fine. Okay, and then I'm just gonna duplicate these over. Fairly easy this part. Try that again. Okay, and then because we've got the one meter pieces already on the wall, what we can do is we can literally just copy them around. Um, same for this, we can just do that. Two meter, one meter, just like that. Okay, and then, so I'm just going to check the roof that was used on this one. I believe it's the metal clad in. Uh, no, so it's the vertical wooden plank roof. So we can get out. Okay, so let's take the one meter pieces. Okay, just like that. And then what we're going to need here is the two meter piece. So we're just following the slope upwards. Okay, and then at the top here, so we should have a, I think it'll be a one meter. Let me try that. Right, so it's the one meter piece at the top. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is just grab an eave here because I think that'll add quite a nice effect. Just like that on each side. Okay, so because I've not actually built a barn, I'm just going to go back and just check. Okay, so we're going to use white pieces on the outside. So let's just do, um, let's do painted wood. So we'll be able to find what we need from there. Uh, so I'm going to use these ones, I think. Let's see what the, just turn that and turn random rotation off. Okay, so I need the angle snap on as well. So I think if we do, let's go to this colour and then let's just try and make them like a really off, off white kind of colour. Um, might actually have to put this on off the angle snap to be quite honest because I don't think it's going to do that. want it to kind of line up as best as possible. Let's go to that. Okay, so I want to try and avoid as much Z fighting as possible. Um, so I might just sink that. Uh, I haven't got too much actually to be quite honest, so it should be okay. Sort the angle out on that because the angle is slightly off. There we go. Right, and then I'm just going to leave that there because I'm not sure what 
the creator of this one did at the top. Okay, so they just joined of us fine. So in effect, if we put angle snap on, we should be able to just duplicate these over. If we literally just change the axis like that, that should work. That should go very nicely. You might have to bring it in because it needs to just touch there like that. Okay, that's fine. So, just to get that grid, what I'm doing is just clicking on Control and X, and then I can change the item out there. Um, so we're gonna just touch the. So we've got a little bit of Z light in there, but it's not the end of the world. Just sink it behind slightly. Same again from this side. Control Z just so we get that locked in and then we're just going to go up to meet that one and same again I'm just going to pop it out to about there I think okay so that is pretty much it for the start I might just go around this door just with a little bit of um, a little bit of kind of cladding as such just make sure that angle snaps on that's fine might just leave a little bit of a gap I think I might align it up with this plank here. So we're just going to imagine that that's the um, same guideline. So just like that. And then I'm not too bothered about the top because the um, the top bit of this isn't. Okay, and then what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to use the bigger pieces. So I'm going to pop them like that. And it doesn't matter which, which way you do this, just as long as you get the angle in right, it should be okay. And I'm going to pull it out just a little bit further, just take it to the edge there, and then I think we'll just need a 2 meter at the end just to complete that. That's fine. And then same again, so advanced move and duplicate, so the little shortcut for that one, I'm sure everyone's probably figured it out, but I will pop it on the screen as well, so it's Control and Z. I'll just pop it up here or something just so you've got it. then just hit an X on the keyboard just to bring that round. So I'm not going all the way around the back, so I'm just going to cover this the back in trees possibly. Okay, so we'll go to about there. Just going to take that out to the end. And then I should just be able to extend it out just using these little pieces. Okay, and then I'm just going to control X again just till we get to this side okay so I think that works quite nicely and then I'm thinking I'm going to use these ones on the corners I think I feel like that adds just like a nice little kind of barn feel to it and obviously with us using the barnyard animal pack I think it's quite um, okay so we came out to about that Okay, so I kind of don't want to go over the top with the kind of struts and stuff, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the top, because if not, why not? So let's just move that one back in. Move that to there. That's just a case of pretty much just copy and paste them. And then what it does is it also fills that little corner. Okay, so I'm going to leave that kind of like that, although I do feel like there's something just kind of missing there, but right, let's do it. Right, so I'm going to use the plaster piece just to imitate kind of like a little window. So I'm just going to sink that into about there. Let's just see. That's fair. That's pretty level to be fair. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to colour it to black, I think. And I'm just going to find that tiny little piece, because I had a small little piece here somewhere. That one. So, same as always, you're literally just going to advance, move and duplicate. And we might actually need the smaller piece. We might need the... Uh, 
one piece actually. Let's have a look. Okay, so that is pretty much it. Um, I'm just going to use, what's this? Let's just have a look through the lights and just see which one that we can use. Um, so I want to kind of imitate the ones that they've got here. So which is the ones just flipped upside down, that's fine. Fine. Okay, so that is just like a little makeshift toilet block. What I might do, I know I said I wasn't going to do it, but I think I'm literally just going to fill these with more toilets. Um, just to cover everyone. So let's just get some signs in here just for the toilets. Okay, so I imagine everyone's going to literally sprint to that, yep, just as I thought, Jesus Christ. It is a party in here, Jesus. Um, not a bad shout. Well, again, the petting zoo hasn't actually had toilets for a long time, so that's probably why. Okay, so I'm going to just focus on the chickens, so the chickens shouldn't take too long, so it's just going to kind of be more of like a open thing for them. Um, so what I am going to do, I'm just going to sink some of these nettles down because I think these work really well just kind of sunk in them. And then what I am going to do as well is I'm just going to go around with the, the long grass bit and I just want long grass just up against the wall and I'm going to change pretty much the rest of it to a mixture of mud and shorter grass. The one meter tool on this is pretty much useless, but it's fine, we can work around it. Okay, so let's get some chickens into this enclosure. So just off camera, before I started this, I've already popped the, the gates and stuff in. Well, that's fine. I'm not going to use a staff path here because I don't particularly want... I will just grab... Them. From uh, to about there, I think. I'm going to turn angle snap off. Just kind of put it to. There. Okay, and I'll do that little piece there. So we're just going to move that to here. Same with this piece here. Okay, I'm going to pinch a couple of these as well. Okay, so that works. So I just want to grab the chickens. I think I'm going to have about 10, I think. Let's just see what we can get. So Sussex chicken. Right, okay, so let me just check the... Check the Zoopedia quickly. 
Okay, so we can have up to 8 males and 79 females, so that is a lot. So, let's just grab that male. I'm not going to bother with that female. Grab that one. Just refresh until we get some more. Okay, we've got a speckled one. So, a speckled hen. I think that'll be fine for what we've got so far. So let me just unpause that and pop them chickens straight in. So I wanted to have a look as well because there is two chicken coops in game now. So these are ones that the that came up the pack. Seconds, let me locate them. I'm just filter on the shelters because I saw them the other day when I was having a look through. So these are the ones I was looking at previously. That's either a choice between pause quickly. So it's a choice between that one which I think is quite big. It's a choice between that one, which I'm thinking just kind of hook in here like this. Put that there. Because then it's not kind of in the way. I'm not going to potentially create a counter with this one because what it would require is a habitat gate but I just kind of want them to walk around so I'm not too bothered about the chickens having their own experience thing so let's just see what it looks like for them I was going to say that they can escape but they can't because I've got no escapes on they should be okay let's just check on the enrichment they need Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hide these. I'm going to pop on there. I don't want to do that thing where it sits into everything. The um, thing's just disappeared for a sec. Oh wow, that just killed them. <laughs> to be fair, I didn't even see it disappear, it just went. Yeah, okay, let's see what they do. Okay, everyone's excited for the chicken. Yeah, it's probably wise that I didn't do this as a, um, as a walkthrough encounter. Right, okay, let's just have a look at the enrichment stuff. I'm going to keep an eye on that shelter because I have no idea why it, why it went before. Okay, I'm going to pop that there. And then what I'm going to use... I'm going to use my... that I made. I'm going to pop that as close as I can get it. Okay, I'm just going to check that they can actually yeah, they can use that last one. So that's brilliant. So this is kind of how I wanted it. Obviously, it's going to quieten down once everyone kind of goes off and does, does their own thing. But 
thinking this is pretty much how I want it. Let's just have a look. So I need a little bit more toy enrichment. So if I add... Let's add a fruit spike down here, I think. Yeah, it's doing that anyway. Right, okay. Let's just do it. Let's just use the little, the little hack to get rid of that. Okay, and then what I can do from here is just delete that path. And what that'll do is that'll just sit perfectly on the ground with no terrain modifications on, which is pretty cool. Okay, so let's just add some bundles of these around. That's in there as well. Get some more here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to sink these down because these have got random rotation on. So I just want to make it look a little bit kind of overgrown. I'm just going to sink it. I think that works quite nicely actually to be fair. If we kind of do it, I wanted to keep it kind of plain because I don't want it to be too crazy. So let's just add a little bit of terrain in here as well. Take it off one because one does nothing. Okay. And then just where we put these, I'm just going to add long grass because then it just kind of adds that nice little effect. Just like that. Okay, and then I'm just going to connect the soil to make it look like they do actually go in here as well. Change this. Have a look at these because this speckled one is really, really cool. We've got the animations on this so good. Like they just move perfectly. So I'm hoping these will have some chicks at some point. Um, I can't think of anything else just to kind of add because I just wanted this just to be like very very basic. I didn't want anything too crazy. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're just going to build for the Highland Cow. Obviously this isn't going to be a walkthrough. Um, so let's just see if we can grab one before we start building. So with the Highland Cattle, otherwise known as the Highland Cow, um, I'm just going to grab the best one that I can find. Okay, we'll go with that for now. Ideally I wanted um, a couple of the kind of like melanistic ones, but they haven't got them, so that's completely fine. Okay, and then I'm thinking what I might do for this one, I might hide the, the gas gate in here. Uh, not the gas gate, sorry, the um, Keep it or a cord. Let's just um, let's wing it and see, see what I can do. Okay, and then if we just join from here, so click the add, should be able to use the curvature. So that's going to be a little bit tricky just to, just to get it in, but. Fine, so I'm going to drag that to there. I'm going to switch that back to the straight path. Just hit a minus on the keyboard once. And I'm just going to snap it in like that. Okay, and what I'm going to add here just to stop people walking through, because I want this to kind of be just like a little staff area, I'm just going to sink a couple of the guest barriers, I think they're called. Uh, so I'm going to use this one because I don't want it to be that I'm literally just going to sink it below like that and then potentially what we're going to do here is we're just going to use I believe it's called yeah, the hook so I'm going to put a hook on this side so I know I'm not usually one for details and stuff but not why not 
but let's just get that oh, so it kind of sits nicely. I'll turn off random rotation as well. Yeah, that's not bad for a first try. So we're going to keep that. Okay, and then let's have a look at the rope. So, I'm thinking a two meter rope should fit very nicely on there. Should do. So if we just recolor that. I'm just going to use a couple of the colors that we've used kind of around, around the zoo a bit. Just going to darken that a little bit. So let's just get this right. Okay, so we're almost there. It's fine. Okay, so clearly what I wanted to use here. Just use them same colour palettes that I just used. Just wanted to kind of use that like that. So just to give the illusion that it's kind of taped off. Um, and then if we wanted to go the extra extra kind of piece, we can go into signs, and there should be kind of like a no entry sign, kind of like that. So what you could do is you could kind of pop that on. Um, I'll give it a go, but I'm probably not gonna. I'm not gonna like it. Uh, I mean, it's not not my favourite, but I guess it's kind of a factor. Yeah, let's go with that. That's fine. Okay, so the Highland cows. I haven't really got much of an idea, kind of where I want to go with it. Um, thinking. Snaps in just nicely there. And then let me just grab a just hide it away with that. So I'm thinking just doing like a couple of flowers and stuff around the edge and then just kind of taking it from there I think. So let's just see what's in the flowers for the European com continent. So, let's just have a look. I think they're a little bit too big to be fair. Probably want stuff like this actually. Just random rotation back on. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm literally just going to place some bits and bobs down. Just see what I like and then I'm going to go ahead and actually plant them. Calvary bush. That works, I like that. Purple follow grass. I'll just put a little bit of some bobs of them in. That's too big. Just put a little bit more kind of dainty than that. Maybe a couple of them just to add some colour. I uh, could add a little bit of lady fern just to give it a little bit of back end. Then, don't know. Uh, lords and ladies, no. Could add some nettles in as well. Okay, let's, um, let's run with that. Let's just kind of duplicate that. Let's just use that corner here. So I want that to make it look like it's kind of overgrown and that it doesn't really get used much. And I'm thinking here as well. Same with this corner. I think that fits in quite nicely. Not so I can sink it. Couldn't. Make it a little bit more intense. 
but I can literally just kind of just add bits here. And I'm thinking what, probably what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to delete um, a couple of these yellow bits out of the ones that I don't particularly want them on. Um, so maybe like here. I think they're just a little bit much for what I want. Might just be worth just adding a couple around here and there everywhere. So I think that's pretty pretty much what I'm looking for. What I did want to do as well is I just wanted to make some kind of like rocks and just some kind of like, not so much shrubs, but just some tiny, tiny little rocks. So I'm thinking if I pinch a couple of these, just to make them look like it's very much just broken rocks on the floor um, potentially from like weathered from the wall um, I literally just want them to be extremely small just little piles like this there's probably a blueprint of this on, on the workshop or something but I'm just gonna just gonna go with what I know, and I'm just going to use the buffalo grass and just lightly sprinkle a couple of them in. Same again, like that. Okay, I'm going to split them from the group just so they are their own separate little piece. And what you can do is just in like these areas here, you can just kind of add them, rotate them like that. So it's, it's going to look a little bit odd in some places but it's fine. Just rotate them. Maybe like that I'm thinking. Put here. Okay, I think that's quite effective to be fair. I don't want it to be too bad room for them because I feel like they do need a, a tiny little bit of kind of foliage and stuff. Um, what I'm going to use is I'm just going to use the path tool um, because I think we can probably get it there because then I can not so much delete it but I can just take the curbs off and just make it look like um, the cow kind of wanders around this path. Did that as sand because this one no, that's fine. It's probably not. It's either me not doing it right or it's not working. I'll have a little bit of faith in me and say it's probably not working. So I'm just going to kind of add a little bit of texture just around here. And that just adds like a little bit of a, a back end, which is fine. And then I'm going to go in with the long grass just down here. Also, wherever we've got foliage, I'm going in with long grass. looks like so far. Okay, so I think what I could also use as well is I could also use these little feeders. So I've got the actual structure itself off the workshop, but then the the hay and stuff inside is, is what I've made. Um, but 
had a better thought. So let me just grab the actual blueprint again. Can't remember what it was called. Was it Underbarn? Uh, okay, let me try Feeder. There we go. So I think if I do that like that, and then if we hop into the Barnyard Animal Pack, so the Barnyard Pack, then I'm thinking, if I just kind of do this, so random rotation, line to surface. And I'm thinking if I just add my own in like that, I feel like that could be quite effective. And then I'm thinking what I could also use as well. I can't remember the full name of it, but I know it's got. It's quite big actually. But also. Use this just to give it a little bit of texture. Swizzle that around. Okay, let's get rid of that because that looks horrible. Just like that. Okay, I think that works better than what I had previously. It's a little bit more effective. So that's fine. I'm going to add that one there. I'm going to add a couple of my custom troughs as such. I'm going to add one equally here. It would have gone so nicely there. But it's going to be way too close to the barrier. Let's find a new place for it. Here. Nice. Potentially put in the shade down here. Okay, so let's get our Highland Cow in. So we've only got the one. So we've got Bertie. Let's pop him straight into the zoo. I'm going to rename this to Highland Cow. I'm not going to call him Highland Cattle because I've always known him as Highland Cow. Um, so that's completely fine. Just want to see what it looks like once it's in. And then I'll um, go ahead and I can just kind of move some stuff around. Yeah, I'm just going to scroll down whilst I'm waiting for him to arrive. Just kind of pop. The enrichment in Highland, right? Where are we? There we go, Highland Castle, that's fine. So, again, with this one, we can also add the Scarecrow prop, which is pretty cool. So, I'll have to just come back in and move that around, but it's fine, it's not the end of the world. I'm gonna add the trough there just so the people eating have got like a nice little view. Uh, I'm going to add a large feeder just around here. And I've already got the water. And then they'll just need some bedding. Oh, he'll just need some bedding just around here. Okay, that's fine. Right, okay, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to place that. Okay, so I'm going to have a play around with some more of the props actually from the Barnyard Animal Pack. So I'm thinking, if I had a couple of these, just to give it a little bit of effect. Um, so if we use random rotation. So I know these cows don't produce as much milk as other ones, but it should be it should be fine. And then I'm probably gonna add 
this. Yeah. I think that looks pretty cool. And what else can we use? Let's grab a bucket. Let's add a bucket. And right behind here. I was just going to add a couple of these just around, just for him to kind of run trying if he gets bored. Obviously I know he won't interact with these, but it's just for, just for my own personal um, enjoyment. Okay, I'm not going to add too much in here though. Should be fine actually. Let's just have a look at that from, from afar. Yeah, that barrier's not working as I wanted it to at all. So ideally they should not really go past that, but clearly not working. So if I just do just take blind surface off. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to very lightly have the edge showing like that. And what we're going to do is we're just going to move these guests back out. It shouldn't be here. I just want to see how it reacts. I'm going to move you as well, you are practically in four. Okay, is that working? Yeah, that's working. Okay, real, so that's fine. So that is pretty much all of the enclosures in the main circle. So let me just grab the signage because I just need to mend it again. Uh, I'm not going to grab that long because it's not funny. What we are going to do is grab this one. And I might pop it. So if we've got one there, then maybe if we add one into the wall here. Okay, so. That's um, a little spoiler for next episode, you didn't see that. Right, so the exit is still that way. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have that one point in that way. And then I'm going to call it, oh, not high cow, island cow. And then what I might do is I might just move this, this one down, move this one up. So I really wanted the gaps to be very even on this. Right, we'll just put question marks in the ones that we're going to build next time. Okay, so I think I'm just going to map out where we're going for the next episode. So I'm thinking, potentially, oh, let's turn the intensity up because it's not do anything. So I'm thinking around here. So I think I've already said in the previous episode that we're going to do sheep here. So this is just going to be like the first thing that you see when you come in. Um, I'm not going to do this fence, and I'm going to kind of just do the standard fence and probably to there. Then I might do the brick at the stone fence into there and then maybe a little bit of stone fencing and then pretty much just all of that but the sheep will be a experience that they can walk through and then the second one if you saw the sign that is going here so if you didn't see the sign then it's bad luck I'll keep it very badly told secret that's just 
Then what I might do here is I might just have like a little a staff area here, probably like a staff room or something. Um, another really cool idea is what I have as well once we've finished playing with the Barnyard Animals pack. Um, I'm probably going to keep this one going because I'm really enjoying doing this. So once I've done all the all the animals, I've only got three more to do. Um, I can do... I might add the donkeys here because I do want to use all the animals from the pack. Um, so I might add like a little donkey pen here. Just in this bit here. And then just doing like a tiny little stable at the back. Now I'm thinking, so this is my crazy idea. So I'm thinking of kind of going off here. I'm just going to draw this in coarse sand. So I'm thinking of doing kind of like a path maybe to here. And then in here, I want it to kind of be like, um, we're going to imagine that the family that owned the farm had to rescue a certain animal, which is also going to be a walkthrough experience. So it's going to have like anti-climb fencing and then they're going to be in here with their extremely long tails. So any guesses, drop them down below. Um, well, yeah, I think that's pretty much for it for this one, to be quite honest. Um, if you haven't joined the Discord already, the link is in the description below. So hopefully we can get that a little bit more lively. Like I said, I don't really know how to use Discord, but figure it out as we go. Um, and also as well, need two more, two names for the pigs, for the two little piglets that we've got, these two. So we've got a male and a female, and then we also need two names for the baby goats. Let me just check the agenda of these. So we've got one female, and where's the other one? Well, it's done a runner. Where's the other baby? Oh, we've got three. Three baby goats. Jesus. Oh, we've had a little... Oh, we're going to have to call him Cookie. I'm going to name that one. He's called Cookie. Okay, so, yeah. One female and one male. There we go. So, two names for them. Um, we might even get the Highland Cow friend in the next episode as well but in the next one we're gonna just quickly build the sheep the staff area and then the um the little spoiler that i left on the on the sign there and then on the last episode well actually we might do these three next because these shouldn't take too long we'll do donkeys sheep and secret one there and then this is going to be for future planning we're going to do like a little walk through exhibit here for something and then what I want to do is add just like a little kind of market here and potentially some little food stores or something. So if you have enjoyed this one, drop a comment down below what's been your favourite bit. Um, likes and shares and everything always really good for the channel so I do appreciate all of those. Um, if you're not subscribing already, hit the subscribe button and the notifications to keep up to date with this series as well. Um, the other one was quite, quite popular which was surprising for me. But thank you so much for all the engagement and stuff on that. It really, really helped me. So yes, I will see you on the next one. And I will leave you just with some lovely cinematics of what's going on at the farm. <laughs>